Hi there, this is Rob from Reason101.net and I'm here to show you how to create this kind of uh, scene selector which is based on Ableton Live session view where you can um, basically create a scene going across a row and then you can change the clips out going along the columns. Um, I did this in Kong, this is kind of like a mini version of it so you can play the individual loops Okay, then you can play the scene, which plays the whole row of loops, and you can switch them out using these buttons. So if you play, uh, let's say we play this, the top three pads will switch out each of these individual loops. So click on this one, you'll get rid of this loop, and it'll change. Click 14, it'll change the middle loop. And number 15 change that final loop there. And it loops through eight different slots um, that affect all these banks. So I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to get through it pretty quick. Oh yeah, and the other thing that I wanted to show you is that you got the mute clips will, which will mute the individual ones, the rows. Or sorry, this mutes the columns going up and down. So mute clip three will mute all of these rows. We'll mute number 11, number 7, number 3. Click on mute two, it's going to eliminate number 10, number six, number two, and clip one obviously will eliminate the last row. So by doing that, you can create some different variations. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this pretty quick. Um, well, pretty quick. I'll try to get through as much as I can, and uh, we'll see how far we can go. So create a combinator, and then inside the combinator, uh, create a 14-2 mixer. Uh, hold down shift and create a Kong device, drum designer. Um, hold down shift again, create two spider CV mergers and splitters. Um, underneath that, hold down your shift key and create a Thor. Inside the Thor, we're going to set that so that everything is initialized, turn everything down. Turn off MIDI, you just need the step sequencer. Gonna turn that off, we're gonna turn this off, gonna bypass it, um, all the other stuff, you know, all that good stuff. Turn everything off. Okay. Um, down here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna change this to step mode. Uh, forward is what you want. You're gonna change this to full. You're gonna change this control here to curve one. All right. And uh, the last thing you're going to do, you're going to select the, where is it, step sequencer, curve one, 100 amount to the CV output one. Okay, so that means that anything that gets triggered by into this, um, well, I showed this in the last video, so you really should check out the last video to see what's going on. But the step sequencer is basically um, going to go to the CV output. Next, what we're going to do, I am going to go up here. I'm going to select all these wonderful devices. I'm going to copy them. And this is so that I don't have to create a bazillion loops. OK, I'm going to paste the devices in here. Roll up my Thor just for now. I'm going to roll up my spiders. I'm going to turn this around, flip this. Uh, I'm going to open up each one of these. Okay, now what I'm going to do is for this group, for these pads, 9, 10, 11, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, these are all going to go gate output into your master volume, and master volume is going to be at 127. I'm going to do this sequentially for each of these. Okay, so that's the first thing you're going to have to do. And this ensures that you're triggering each of these individually. Just bear with me. This does get exciting at some point. Um, OK, so now we've got these triggered. Now we're going to have to send the audios, main outputs to mixer. I'm just going to roll up Kong for now because don't need to see that while we're doing this. Okay, so the main outputs are going to go all to their own channels for each.
attach to the Rex devices. Obviously, when you're creating this yourself, you're going to have to load up these Rex devices with a bunch of different loops of your own. Or you can borrow from the factory sound bank, which is what I'm doing right now. And then on the front of the devices, just make sure that you have them all set to 1 16th. This means that every time you switch them using the Kong, you're going to switch on the 16th note. So um, now click Run Pattern Devices up here, very important. That turns all these run um, buttons on for all the Dr. Octorexes. And now you can actually hear the loops going through. You can hear them individually. So now what we're going to do is over here, we're going to create a Scene 1. Up here, we're going to create scene two. And over here, we're going to create scene three. And these are going to trigger these three different loops. Now, um, what I'm going to do just quickly, I'm going to open up the spider. And I'm just going to do one of these. So let's take the gate output, put it into the split A, and then send three splits to one, two, and three. Okay. Now, you might ask yourself, why are we going to do it this way? Why couldn't you just go in here and link up, let's say, let's try this out. Why couldn't you just link all these pads together? Makes sense, right? Only problem is, on here, you can play all three, or you can play each one individually. Up here, you can play all three, but you can't trigger the individual ones. That's why we're not using pad grouping. And that's why we're using the CV to actually trigger the pads. So once again, let's go back in. Let's finish this up. Put this on split B. And send all the splits to the various three pads. Same thing, split A here. Gate in. Gate in gate in. Okay, so now we've got all our scenes, play all three, or we can play each one individually. Perfect. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, and uh, I will do this in the next video, is I'm going to change this to clip, and all of these are going to be, going to have their clips applied. Clip. Oh, that's clip three. And this is clip two. So I'll stop it right there and um, just watch me in the next video and uh, I will show you how to finish this up and uh, create something that you can change the slots on the columns. You can change all the loops that are playing up to eight loops because you've got eight slots here. Um, so by pressing pad 13, you're going to be able to change 9, 5, and 1. By pressing pad 14, you're going to be able to change 10, 6, and 2. And press pad 15, you're going to be able to change 11, 7, and 3. So that's coming up in another video coming to you soon. Thanks for watching. I'm Rob at Reason101.net.